Hello Libra. I'm doing a special re request a reading. Um, a subscriber asked if I would do a reading for why would he never commit? So in words to that effect, why won't he commit or why he never did? So this could be for people who are out of a relationship and could never figure out why the guy wouldn't commit to them or people who are in a current relationship and they don't really feel like um, their partner uh, is committing to them. So, for Libra first, because that's where the request came from. So, this is your ex's current situation. The reason uh, for their lack of commitment. Uh, what helps? What hinders? and what you can figure out from this um, turn of events. Probable outcome. And the next step. Okay, well, with the Nine of Swords in reverse, uh, it seems as if your uh, love interest is, um, has had in the past uh, a lot of tortured thoughts and um, uh, so much so that they weren't sleeping at night. The, they were worried a great deal about something, and it kept them up nights. Uh, but in the reverse, um, they're starting to let go of that now. Uh, they're nearly there, um, and they're they're feeling uh, better than they were. But still, with the strength card in reverse, they they're not have they don't have the strength right now. Um, they don't. They don't feel graceful or loyal. Uh, they're not, they don't feel like they're in a good enough place uh, to do that, to even offer themselves. Um, now the th third card is for what would help the situation. And uh, clearly uh, with the eight of wands, we've got uh, communication would be uh, a, a help in this case. Um, so if you if you're no longer communicating with them and you really want to pursue a relationship, you want to sort of keep uh, keep the lines of communication open. Now, as far as um, what is hurting this situation, I've got uh, the Two of Pentacles. So uh, there seems to be a, a bit of, uh, of an issue as far as balance goes, um, but. Uh, in the upright, there is adaptability here, um, and and um, so uh, yeah, if this was reversed, I would say out of balance, but um, I'm seeing adaptable here, so, uh, and, and maybe that's a, a problem, or in this category of what hinders, because maybe this person is, it just goes from one thing to the other, and as soon as it starts to get a little bit heavy, and they realize they're, they don't have the strength to uh, uh, follow through uh, with a commitment um, they just jolly on off uh, and they adapt to a new situation they probably get involved in a new relationship um, but in the background there's a sinking ship so <laughs> uh, they can't maintain this for very long so um, what can you deduce from this turn of events, this person that uh, is in their head and um, or had been in their head and is just starting to let go of pain but still doesn't feel the strength. Um, and then they just sort of jolly off uh, and adapt to something else when it suits them. Um, they're, they've not found their soulmate. They, they don't feel a, a sense of um, unity or love or partnership. Uh, in 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 a relationship that they have been that they have encountered, um, and with the hanged man in reverse here, uh, for the probable outcome, I would say this just flat is not going forward. There is no, uh, there is an element of being stuck, and um, it doesn't appear that uh, it's going to go anywhere. Uh, and the the. Next step, I suppose, if you 
if you want to um, continue with this person, um, we have the Five of Swords uh, in the reverse. Um, so I would say that um, they're open to change. Uh, that, you know, uh, in the upright, it's conflict, but in the reverse, uh, it, it should be uh, at least less trouble, certainly, and at this point, open to change. So there's a possibility that this person has, if they're letting go of the pain that they were in in the past, and they just don't feel like they're strong enough to, you know, give their heart, if you want, keep the lines of communication open, um, and maybe... And maybe they'll finally see. If you do feel that that you are their soulmate, maybe they're maybe they're ready now to let go of their status quo, what they've always done in the past, and you know, communicate openly, uh, clearly. Um, it looks like they might be ready to use their brains. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these cards for you. Um, it's, um, they're oracle cards and um, another beautiful deck. So th this would be uh, advice um, for you going forward. Okay, I haven't seen a lot of these cards myself. You're being called to step up to the lead. So that indicates to me that it's time for you to use your intuition, step forward. Um, yeah, and, and take the lead in the situation because it doesn't look like he's going to be doing that. He's open to new ideas, um, but, uh, but you're going to have to take him by the hand and say, this way, honey. <laughs> okay, well, good luck with that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.